Hey guys, what's happening? So, I thought I'd give you my review of this new Klein Tools uh, VDV 500-820. And we did a wiring job over the weekend. It's about 270 runs. And uh, huge bundles of cable. And I was hoping this toner would actually be better than my flukes. Um, but it actually wasn't. There was actually some more, more annoying problems that actually cost me a lot more time. And I'll show you what those are. But let me show you what I have here. I have a, I have a Ideal probe. This is a good probe. I have the new Fluke uh, Active Filter Probe, and uh, this is obviously the new Klein Tools, and it came with the kit here, the, the probe and the uh, sensor there. Um, this is the older Fluke style, which I think is the best, by the way. Um, I have my original one. Uh, cool as a metal tip. So I, I'm still trying to find, they, they used to, back in the day they used to have metal tips, and they were way more sensitive. But I guess I didn't want people actually uh, getting the voltage from like the analog line, so send it back up the probe. But uh, all right, so I'm gonna bring up a couple pictures right now. Um, this is the thick bundle wires we were going through, and uh, also I'm gonna make up another picture right now that this is the completed job. But I mean, it was for like a bank; it was like 270 runs. But uh, yeah, actually, by using this toner, man, it kind of was frustrating. Uh, let me go through the frustrating things. So it's just like your basic toner, you know, on off. But on this side of the, the annoying issue on this side of the probe was that when you turned it on, I had to turn the volume up manually every single time I turned it on and off. So it wouldn't stay at max volume. So I'm working in an environment where nobody's at. You know, it's an empty building. So it doesn't matter how loud that thing is. But I want this thing to be on max all the time. It wouldn't do that. Like with these other probes, I mean, there's a manual. So when I turn this on, it's always on. All right? That's a huge deal. That's very annoying. I think every time I turn it on, I have to go back and spend a couple seconds turning this up. I'm, I'm in this massive bundle of wires trying to find the thing I want it to be as loud as possible. So yeah, all these other ones actually have the manual knob. So that is, there's no way to, there's no way to fix it on a, on a max volume. I went all through the manual, no way to do it. Um, the other annoying feature is that basically this is the actual deal breaker for me and this is what frustrated me the most was that this is the fluke toner this thing will stay on forever until you turn it off and that's actually what I, what I like you know at least 10 times using this thing uh, it would auto shut itself off. There's like there's like an auto shut off timer to save the battery. Whereas I'm halfway I'm on the, on the other side of the building. I'm trying to find the find the thing in the wire, and this thing is auto shut itself off. So I'm spending 15 minutes in this big bundle of wires trying to figure out where the hell the wire is at, turn it, turn it, turn it out. And the whole time I'm just basically spinning my wheels because this thing has shut itself off on the other side. And there's no way to shut off the auto timer, like the auto off. So that feature alone is why I'm getting rid of this thing. I, I can't deal with it anymore. It was too much of a headache. I mean, literally, like like ten times it did that, over a few day period, where I'm just sitting there wasting my time trying to find a wire that's not there's no tone on the wire anywhere. So, if you're watching this, Klein Tools, dude, you got to fix that, or give me a feature so I can keep it on at max all the time, and have me allow me to disable the auto shut off, because that was frustrating and annoying. So that's where I'm with you. Uh, I've I've had pretty much every single toner, and uh, I've used every single toner. I've been doing this for 20 years. So, um, and by the way, the, this is the best one so far. But I might modify this to put a metal tip on there. I might make a metal tip. But all right, that's my review. Cool. Yeah, I wouldn't get it. I mean, if if you I mean, if it's a small job, yeah, maybe. But if you're a cabling contractor and you're running hundreds of wires, you can't have this thing shutting off automatically.